How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hotman Spider here. Coming with a 1v1 on Kalenin. Never played on this map yet. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Playing against uh, Kiss My Goat. We had a couple games today. <clears throat> I thought this one was quite interesting just because of the map. So we got some recon coming up. Plan is the uh, late war German support doctrine. So we get on the point early here, not too bad. He's assaulting the point with some uh, assault or uh, SMG troops. <clears throat> He's catching us out a little bit in the open here, bad cover. Trying to catch him as he's coming in. Make sure to heal up. Just looking to spread out here. Don't want to be bunched up on a fence where a grenade can just get me. Goat likes to run the grenades a lot. So right here we're in a grenade war. Looking to get out for grenade here. There we go, first grenade. Getting a little bit of lag. <coughs> but we are capping that first point there. He's capping the northeast. So he is playing the support doctrine for the Russians. So very nice, very nice doctrine. Sorry, just got a phone call there. Don't know who it is. Anyways, it's getting a little bit of lag, but we got grenades coming out. Looks like he is pulling up a T20, possibly. So we're just moving over this guy with the Shies Becker. Looking to take out that T20, hopefully, before it can do any damage. So it's starting to, starting to put in some damage on us. We do get a hit on it. Happy with that. Goat's got some bad connection going on right now. Anyways. Ooh, that would have been nice if I could have connected that one. Guy gets shot down. So he's getting the T20 to do some good work for him. He did manage to push me right off the northeast. So well played. And he's annoying with that T20 right now. So throwing some smoke out so we can get close to it with a Panzerfaust. Looking to take that thing out. <clears throat> it's extremely hard fighting the Russians on these close quarter maps. They got like, decent little advantage with the PBSHs. So we do miss Panzerfaust. And I don't know if there was some lag going on here, but couldn't throw their AT grenade properly. Unfortunate. Not happy with that one. You see the boys are pulling up here. Looking to make a push. <coughs> He's got lots of recon out. The German or uh, Russian recon squads are pretty strong with the PPSHs, so. This map's well suited. Very well suited. So 
So he's pushing around with the T20. Making good use of it. Five minute mark and it's 370 to 241. So holding the lead right now. But he does have more troops out right now, I think. Getting more kills. Using the MG42 here. <coughs> Got a 222 coming out. Map isn't really too well suited for this kind of thing, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Looking to clear this thing out with the T20. Or looking to clear the T20 out with the 222. So we do break the hull. But he has cleared out the center now. So Goat was playing very, very well this game. I'll give it to him. He was playing very well. I had never played this map before, but I do I do think it's pretty neat. I think I was kinda unsure what to do here at the moment in the game. See goats on it with the grenades. He loves grenades. There we go. <clears throat> so we're clearing at this point a little bit. I think he was really using his officers because there's so many hiding spots in this map. <coughs> kind of a strange... Uh, Bit of a strange map. Let's see. Grenade out. He's got a T20. Or no, sorry, T50. Pushing over on that south side. He's getting the drop on me with a lot of grenades here. Extremely annoying right now. I'm not able to pay attention. When you're on the assault, it's it's uh you're looking everywhere. So definitely aggravating when you're trying to make a push. Grenades are going off all over the place. So looking to get this two 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 in a good position, but can't really find anywhere of value to put it. You can see that T fifty. making a push up looking to use the uh, Puma here I think he's trying to find a shot on me as well nothing worse than a crew shock He's got grenades coming out the wing wang. Try to take a shot at this T20 here, or T50. It's hitting all the building. Not the, quite the best map for this thing, but we'll make do. Gonna send it over to the north east. Try and use it to help make a push here. Dogs barking at nothing. Hey, stop it. <coughs> so he's doing a good job of keeping me off the point. His infantry is uh, slaughtering me. So just the PPSH is doing good work. Backing out the Puma here, because I think you've sent over the T-50 to deal with my Puma. I love the reverse speed on this thing. It's insane. Ha! 
heading around on the far side of the map here. I'm looking to hopefully get a flank off on that T-50. That was my thought here. I'm trying to find a good shot on it. I don't know if he noticed me yet or... I'm trying to thread the needle here. Oh, we just thread it. Very nice shot. You see, that could have easily went the wrong way. Hitting the side of the building. Just want to destroy that thing so I can... Uh, make sure I get the full kill. There we go. So it's destroyed. Clear it out. <coughs> so good work from the Puma. Clearing his uh, first unit there. We got some more Sturm Grenadiers pushing up. So he has a mortar or something pounding in the middle. So he's leading at 485 to 355 at the 12 minute mark coming up here. And you can tell he's got an officer or something in that point. It's a bit early for officers, but it's not the worst thing that he could do. Looking to use the Puma here to clear out some of this uh, troops he's got, so. As you can see, he's reinforcing the uh, northeast with another squad. <coughs> Looking to get a good position on him here. But having a hard time getting uh, a good shot on him. Not sure if, where he's hiding his officer, if he had an officer or what, but. Pushing around here. Unfortunate. <coughs> so we got the two 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 fixed up. Send those boys to the middle. Things are kind of desperate at the moment. Just looking to use the 222 here to clear out a bit of uh, his infantry. <coughs> Not too sure where that. Uh, PTRS is. Big pain though. You can see he's trying to push a bazooka up there. So Goat's playing really well here. He's got those SMG infantry all over that center, so it's really hard to push. Trying to figure a way to push that. You can see he must have an officer or something in that point because I have a lot of weight there. A lot of good troops. He's still holding strong, so. See the 222 is trying to engage. Gets the kill. 15 minute mark, and we're looking at 650 for GOAT to 347 for me. So I'm kind of expecting dual T-34s at the moment. We're seeing a recon plane come out. So 
So we get our officer in the point, just to neutralize the effect of his. Didn't know what else to do. There's no way I was going to find it. Looking to shoot down that plane here if I possible. Not being able to direct control this thing properly. I think the uh, computer would have had easier time shooting it down. But see, he's got a big push coming in here. Got grenades coming out like crazy. Damn grenades, man. So it's really good with his grenades. <clears throat> I don't bother with as much uh, grenades and smokes as much as anymore. I do a lot of grenades, but smoke. find it's not as effective. <coughs> Making a push for the center here. See, he's making a good cap. We're getting slaughtered somewhere. You can see the PPSHs are just so, uh, so strong. Not much you can do versus them. Just gotta pray. <laughs> pray that you can keep it some distance. Looking to clear him out a little bit with this Puma. Really need to clear some of his troops out. My dogs are having a little war on the stairs there. So Puma's doing alright for us. He just killed my 222. Had it in a stupid spot. But he's focusing over there so I can clear out some of his infantry. Rather deal with these PPSH infantry than uh, micro the 221. <coughs> if I can clear out some of these boys and get in, set up a little position, make life a lot simpler. So there we go, we're clearing out that middle. Quite happy with that. <clears throat> Looking to use this flamethrower to kill some of this uh, cover he has. See the flamethrower misses that one guy that's prone there. Got a grenade out. Let's see what he's doing here. <coughs> so bring up uh, some Gabug's Jaeger. Ooh, what's he got there? He's using his uh, AA trucks. I feel like he should have got those dual T-34s out if possible. I'm not sure what, but the recon plane just didn't didn't do well. So we are capping that point. I think we need something that could. Uh, Deal with that house, whether it was a flamethrower or what, but so we see the we did see some type of vehicle over there, but it's retreating now. Moving the Puma. I'm 
I'm not sure if he has two officers or what he's got over here, but. Twenty minute mark. Seven sixty-eight to three twenty-six. So we are starting to cap back a bit. So happy with that. He's making a push into that center. Damn grenades, man. Goat loves those nades. You can see he's got a T20 or something over there. Okay, here we go. Got the disc truck. Oh, big mess, big mess. <clears throat> there we go. Get a lucky hit on the truck. Stop it dead in its tracks. Looking to finish it off. One more hit. One more hit. Come on. There you go. It's down for the count. You can see he's got that T20 there. Clearing us out. Got to deal with it. Trying to be really careful playing against these uh, Soviets. The amount of equipment, the, equipment, or the amount of uh, SMGs they get, it's just insane, man. Love using it. Hate fighting against it sometimes. Just get a nice shot from the Puma. Knocks out that little T20. Alright. So flamethrower is going for this house. Load it with guys. Get shot. Get a grenade out there. I wasn't able to cook the nades there for some reason. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's annoying. You can see here. I think we might kill one of his officers with that flamethrower. Something like that. Catches, yeah, there. His commissar died doing MG42, actually. So nice. That's why I don't like using my uh, officers on the points like that. So that's a bit of a turning point right there. Starting to reel him in a little bit. He's not outnumbering me on the field everywhere with his troops. Center, he's got me kind of outnumbered right now. But we are holding. Setting up a second officer. Because I figure why not. Let's try it out. Throwing some smoke. Looking to pick up this. Uh, there we go. So there we go. Now we got cap weight. And he is cap in the center. So. That's what we need. We need to be able to cap this thing. Looking to push more troops. 25 minute mark. 695 to 531. So. Starting to make a bit of a comeback here. We do end up getting something with the flamethrower there, but not as much as I'd like to. <coughs> Got 
Got grenades coming out here. Let's see what we got here. SMG trooper. Gets one of these bazooka guys he had hiding on the corner. Perfect. Got a BT-7 there. So Goat's trying to push with that BT-7. Looking to make a bit of a push. He's trying to use that flamethrower to push me out of there. Let's see what we got. We got the Puma versus the BT-7 coming up here. Boom. Good shot. So we got that BT-7 out of action. Looking to use this thing to get some kills here. Try and flush them out a little bit more. End up getting some friendly fire going almost. Trying to heal up my own guys so I don't hurt them. I already hurt them, but... Getting this thing in a little bit better position here. You can see he's making a push. So this Puma is really keeping us in. Very vital. Very vital to the, to the effort here. Flamethrower makes a trade. So we're getting out the Yag Tiger. Kind of figured he'd have the IS too. Pushing around with the Puma. He's got some guys sitting in the smoke here. He's making a bit of a push. Going to grab some more ammunition. Holding strong on the south. Yag Tiger's coming over. Looking to sneak a bazooka in, maybe. See if we can get his Yag. And his Yag with his IS-2, if he has one. I kind of assumed that's what he was saving for. So the Yag Tiger is the perfect little counter for it. If it comes out. This is definitely a hard map though for uh, type of troops. Especially going against those Soviets. It's unreal the, uh, what those SMGs can do. Trying his hardest to get those grenades out. Very, very annoying. <clears throat> Looking to use the Puma. 
get some fire support. You can see the IS-2 there. So I figure let's move up the Yag Tiger, put it on hold fire and not let it swap ammo all the time. He's got a new Dishka truck out. Looking to see if I can hit it up with the Puma. <clears throat> Puma is being such a handy unit for us right now. We end up getting that Dishka truck. So big, big time. So reinforcing that north, or sorry, southwest point. We're still holding the northeast. Just superior weight from the officers. See here, he's trying to use that Jeep. He's trying to get the Jeep to flake my guys there. Not bad. So we're regaining control on that southwest point. Hoping to hit the uh, IS-2. Get more... Um, Kaboog's Jaeger. Excuse me. Hmm. Let's see. So we're starting to come around into the lead. 762 to 634. So I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing when I'm playing with the Germans versus uh, Soviets. You got to kind of like, you got to pick your battles. You got to, you can't play as aggressive. You can't play like you're playing as the Soviets, if that makes sense. Soviets, you can play so aggressively, it's it's insane. Getting very annoyed with the goat's grenade play he does. <laughs> Just because he's so good at it. You can see the uh, IS-2 looking to support. I don't even remember if I do anything with that sniper. I don't, I don't even remember buying that sniper, man. You can see he's just got his... Uh, he's so entrenched in that center point. It's unreal. Everything we're sending here. Getting uh, tossed by his PPSHs. There we go. Looking to destroy that IS-1. Get a hit on it. Gets get unlucky here. Didn't get a penetration. Did make a nice hit though. Hmm. Oof. Puts big time hurt on us. Backing that boy up there. And he is starting to capture that northeast, so. Very well played, very well played. Calling up another tank crew. Oh, I see. I pulled my officers off the point. So looking to use this Puma here. Wanted to clear up some of his uh, troops that he'd been building up in that center point. He's having a really difficult time pushing them out. Hmm. 
<laughs> See, he's making a push here. Boom. Nice shot. So we, there goes the guards, SMG squad. So back to what we were doing here, clearing the center out. When you're so entrenched with the PPSHs, you just got to take some time, clear up some positions before you make an infantry push. Get some grenades going. Just clear the area overall if you can. We're facing the very formidable assault sappers, so... Assault sappers don't die very easy, do they? So we got HE shells raining down on that center point. But he is starting to come back a little bit. He is capturing. And as you can see, it's uh, 700 to 817. So a little bit of back and forth going on here. Do you like that? Makes for a fun game. <clears throat> the Egg Tiger's back repaired. And now we're going to go on the hunt with the beast. Got to go got to go IS2 hunting. <laughs> Looking to use the puma as some kind of bait here, maybe, if possible. There we go. Leak guards. Knocked out. Bringing the puma back over to the uh, southwest point. Gonna put my officers back onto that northeast. Just because he's uh, being so aggressive over there. There we go. IS-2 is pounding us in the middle. Ooh. Pulled the Fury. Shot the commander right out of that thing. So getting the Puma back into a good fire position. Well, what I thought might have been a good fire position, but... There we go. IS2 down. <clears throat> so pretty much knocking out all of his equipment. All of his uh, heavy equipment, like tanks and whatnot. So, pretty happy. Overly happy with that situation right now. As you can see, we're capping that northeast with the officers. Putting them on the corner there. Starting to assault that center point a little bit. He's got, he's got that damn mortar somewhere. Goat loves his mortars. He uses them pretty good. I'll give him that. He's got a lot of little tricks up his sleeve. He always surprises me with something. I'll give him that. For sure. Puma here supporting the boys on the uh, southwest. Looking to get cap weight here. Thinking about using the Yag Tiger on the point. Just because it's almost impenetrable. Moving up forces into the center.
pretty much cleared out all the cover he had to get onto that point, so that's kind of nice. You can see we got a big attack going on. But we're on a triple cap now. We're 40 minutes in. And it's uh, 870 to 697. So. <coughs> Quite happy with how things are progressing here. IS 2 is knocked out. Using the Yag Tiger. It's not the best, but you gotta use what you got. Makes a big push onto this point. He must got a lot of troops here. I think he's got assault sappers. Just the cap weight he has there is insane. Against two officers. Ooh. Bring up another Puma. Should have brought up a Werble win. Keeping the Yag Tiger on the point here. <coughs> Trying to get the cab weight back on this point. Easily get it back up. Here we go. Using this Puma. This is the second one now. Great effect though. You can see he's making a push with those assault sappers. Such a strong unit. Love my assault sappers. <coughs> so this Puma's slowly picking them off, so it's very nice. Going to work with each shot. And that's game. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll hit you with some more daily... Gates of content. Cheers.